Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. If you've been joining us lately, you've been watching us build some crab stuff. So we've got this crab pot here that we built. It's an auto-deploying crab pot. Uh, it's really nice, uh, works really well. And yeah, you can find this on the workshop. Uh, it's just a simple deployment system. Once it hits the water, the buoy pops off and you're ready to go. Uh, once you're hooked up, you can winch it in with no problems. Uh, so we took this system and then we brought it over to this system here where we've got it on a track now. Uh, this is also on the workshop. I think actually this crab pot is on the workshop like this. So you guys can download this. It's already on a deployment system. All you gotta do is push the button here. And ooh, as you can see, we just push our button. It slides off and is deployed into the water. Nice. And then you could, you know, retrieve it using the winch system here. Uh, so we went a little step further and we actually put it into to this depth charge style here where we have 10 pots uh, all capable of making at least 20k uh, that can make more which is really nice so we have the ability here to make a lot of money so we've got 100k on one side and 100k on the other side and uh, these are pretty simple as well you just come along you just push the buttons they slide off depth charge style into the ocean and then you're able to come and retrieve these things, which is really cool. You can see we can come over this side. It's a little hard to hit these buttons. Uh, we'll work on that, but, oh, and they're getting a little stuck. I'm not sure why they're getting stuck here, but they're getting stuck to each other. There they go. Now that one will should deploy and in rocking waves, they do a little better. Uh, so yeah, that is, uh, that is our deployment system. Now I've spent uh, many hours uh, messing around with this and what turned what was gonna turn into a video series has now turned into a couple 4 a.m. nights uh, with the guys over on Discord. And I have been working on something for you. So let's come over here to the workbench and let's spawn this in. Now I know you guys have been watching me build the crab pot boat thing on live stream and that was all fine and dandy, but the boat was too big. Uh, I tried putting this little system on that boat and I just, I struggled. Uh, the water was too far down and I just didn't like it. I got to a point where I just didn't like the boat anymore. So a couple 4 a.m.s later. All right, so what I've done is I've spent, like I said, I spent a couple 4 a.m. nights uh, with the guys trying to figure things out, getting some opinions and things like that. And I have, uh, I've created a whole new boat. Uh, we've got a whole new boat here. Um, I didn't want to go this far with the boat, but I did anyway. So this is where I was at. I just wanted to kind of see where this was floating and I was kind of testing stuff out and then I kept sh adding shapes and then started adding rails and then I, things got carried away. And then, yeah, this is, uh, this is two days staying up super late trying to figure things out. Um, let's hop on board. Not everything I want to do is good to go here, but I do have a new system here. These are all radio controlled now. Uh, so we don't have to be down here pushing buttons. We can do all that from the helm, which is really, 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 really nice. Um, so we don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, so we're essentially turning this boat into a one man crab vessel. Um, so we've got our little walkway here. This is where we were able to push the buttons before. That's fine. We can't do that now. I've got a nice big deck back here. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. I might put a helipad back here. If you guys want a helipad back here, we'll slap one on. Uh, that way you can go do some missions while we're out crabbing as well. Uh, let's see, just coming through. Haven't really done anything. Um, I've got this large area here. This is where our poppers are, but I've lowered them to lower the mass a lot lower, which I think is going to help us out a whole lot. Uh, so this gate opens up and actually becomes a ramp for crabs, uh, which should work really nice uh let's come up a little further here i haven't done much around here we just got some uh some empty rooms empty rooms uh we can come up to all the way up to our bridge here uh i've got some spotlights on the sides here uh can't see those but we got some spotlights for doing a little search and rescue if we needed to uh we can come into the bridge here um this is going to be our crane operator does this work this works for our crane okay so our we've got the ability for left and right we can extend our crane out out and then using up and down we can send it up and down uh to pick up the crab pots which is really nice uh so let's see let's get this back in i don't know if this works i don't remember at what point i uh i started doing thing does this does this move out okay it does move out and it's got a lot of power uh so what i'm using right now is two electric motors to run these i'm gonna have to change that out because the minute you go to non what's the word i'm looking for the minute you the minute you go to this non-infinite electric um there's a there's a bug in game where both motors will not run equally uh so you get a lot of bugs and a lot of weird things where the engines like right now i'm pushing w and both engines are running uh, i'll push s both engines are running you see this if i push a they should be tank steering and go the opposite way yes we've got rotation here and then the same thing with d 
we've got rotation this way but again the problem is that once i turn infinite electric off these don't work anymore even with sufficient power uh so i've got to work out that problems there so we've got some engine work to do we've got some of that but i just got it enough together that i could show you guys how this actually worked uh so let's get out a little bit further here and then i should be yep horn works horn works all right i should be able to sh let these things go are we far enough out okay so yeah i'm just gonna hold one and these things are just gonna slide off every few seconds into the water look at that and they're just spacing themselves out nicely which is what we want we can start doing some turning if we want get these things uh in a little different area and there goes our last one all right so we're just gonna slow down here and all our buoys have popped okay I'm going to fly back over to here. Uh, let's sleep. Again, I don't have anything on the boat, so literally I've just got it to where it works. Uh, and I want to show you guys how I plan on doing this. Oh, I need a bed. We need a bed. Can I sleep on the couch right here? I can't. Ooh, what? Okay, we'll just... That's our pillow. We have a book for a pillow. Okay. Wait, can I not sleep here? Wait, what? I thought you could sleep on this couch. F E E. No. Okay. Is there another another place of laying down here? Oh, oh, okay. It's here. Here we go. Eh, why am I? I'm in the wall. That's a thing. All right. Sleep. Let's let some time pass. Uh, don't have any daylight. We'll just do this a couple times. And again, uh, as the crab pots fill up, once they get above. 40 i believe they start flashing yellow and then once they get full they go green uh let's see if they are green now they are let's get back into our boat grab on here let's do a little 180 all right we're spun around let's see if we can pick up some of these crab pots with ease Ooh, come on let's line up yep a little bit too much power on these um on these electric motors too they, they uh they tend to keep running after i'm done uh, holding the button here all right so we're just gonna pull up to this one here as best we can let's turn the boat nope stop going forward there we go oh stop going forward and we're just kind of ride along this yep oh, yep okay let's get into here let's get this try turn to the side and and get this guy out let's go down with the ooh, 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 ooh. A little extra a little extra there come on no, uh we got this we got this we got this okay come here come here you come here you we got this right come on come on right right there come on nice okay so we are hooked on uh so we should be able to pull up it'll pull the winch up and then it should start wrenching in our crab pot yes okay it is doing that okay let's get away from our boat a little bit that way we can actually pull this up all right we're pulling it up man look at all those crabs nice okay so we'll pull this in uh, we got a little bit of a lip there that should help us pull up over this gap there we go nice everything is working like i wanted it to okay so we'll open the gate there we go and we are going to release the oh no oh no okay okay problem problem okay we can fix this we can fix this we got this we'll go back down i hit the wrong button i hit release instead of dump okay so we're, we're hooked back up easy fix and we want to dump crabs there they go now they're dumping look at that and they're just sliding right down the ramp and going right into our hopper system which is perfect this is exactly what we wanted uh so now we can take this back off shove it over the side here right Will this go over like that? And then let's make sure we take dump off. And I've got a couple of lights here. You can see I've got some lights on top. So if I take dump back off, the light is gone. That way I know that the crab pots will fill back up once I release it. All right, so now the crab pot has been released. The buoy comes back up. Uh, should be floating right back to the top and we're ready to go again so let's turn release off we'll pull this in we can bring our gate up and let's hop into the seat and let's grab another one all right we got another one on the side here let's see if we can do that uh before it floats away come on before it floats away let's get it come on come on oh it just did get far enough away it just did oh oh, oh. nice nice I'll, I'll take the uh, stormworks physics on that one that was awesome okay so we'll winch this one up and we'll get some more crabs into the hopper system here i hate that there's not a cell point here at creative base we don't have another cell point we'll have to go over to uh fj and see if we can actually sell these properly okay so we'll get this onto the boat here not where i want them but uh that's fine we'll put those right in there okay we'll lower the gate down and we'll hit dump Make sure we hit dump. There we go. And there they go. Into the uh, hoppers. Nice. And if any jump onto the back deck there, we've got some time to go and grab them. They're not going to go anywhere uh, except for back into the hopper system, which is nice. Uh, now, I do have a few stuck in here. I've noticed that does happen every now and then. Uh, so what we can do is we can just take the gate here and just kind of bounce on the cage a little bit. And that will kind of encourage them to walk out a little bit. Uh, how many we got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six crabs. Okay. Oh, there goes one. See, there goes two. There goes three. We'll encourage them a little bit to keep moving. Come on, you guys. Your, your friends are down there. 
that's where you want to go. I've got a nice aquarium in the middle of a restaurant for you. And uh, you can look at people eat all day. Come on, into the hopper. Get into the hopper. Let's go. No, these guys don't want to go. All right, so we've got a few pesky ones in there. That's fine. We can, uh, we'll just say that they're undersized. Uh, they're not limit crabs. Uh, so we'll take these and we'll uh, we'll reset that pot right there and good to go. Now we could go and pick up all these. Uh, that would take a little bit of time. But I think for now, I'm going to head over to FJ and let's try and dump this stuff and see if that works. Let's go through the whole process here. And then if the boat works, then we can head on and start fixing things like making extra rooms and things like that on it. Uh, as you can see, I did steal the lights from the old boat. I did like that light system, so I do have that. Um, but the other boat was just a little too big and I just wanted some something that was more streamlined. And since I did have the hopper deployment system kind of already built out, it felt only right to just build something that worked around that. So that's what I did. That's where I've ended up. Now we have a new crab boat. I feel like it looks a lot better than the last one that I did. Um, so yeah, this is our new crab boat. This is the one we're gonna be working on now. Um, got a lot of rooms, interior stuff to do. Got to get engines in it, uh, equipment rooms, things like that. Definitely some paint. And then, yeah, this will be on the workshop this week. It'll definitely be on the workshop this week for you guys. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do you a solid and I'll drop the other crab boat on the workshop as well. If any of you want that, um, feel free. Uh, so that'll be on this workshop this week as well as this one. And we should be back and doing some crabbing. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's get over to FJ. Let's not waste any more time running our mouths. And let's see uh, see if we can get the crabs unloaded. We do have our little hopper system up front here to be able to, that's connected. And then uh, that should be good to go. But just because so you guys can see what's going on, there's our hopper system right there. And these are going up to the front of the boat. So they're connected. Uh, does this have coal in it? No, it does not. All right, so we've got 123 crabs uh, in the hopper system. And they will be able to be duct fed up to the front system there, which is really nice. Oh, as you can see, there's more, there's more. It goes all the way through and then there's the hoppers here because I made a little door that you could walk through. See, nice. Since we're almost there, I figured I'd show you 100% wind with this boat. Uh, this is it right now. Uh, doing pretty well as long as it's, uh, I guess, going into the wind. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little test there. We are almost at FJ. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down here just so we can actually make it here. I don't want to lose the crabs that we got already, but yeah, it's pretty stable. We'll have to do a, uh, we'll have to do some testing with the tsunamis and whirlpools, things like that to see how it really fares in the uh, inclement weather. But uh, yeah, we're almost at FJ, so let's get, uh, let's get close. I don't know where we got to get. Oh, it's right there. Okay, we'll get over to that, uh, that boom there, and then we'll unload these crabs. All right, just pulling into the dock now. Um, how are we gonna do this? I think we'll just, we'll just pull up. I'll just hop out and we'll lower it, and then. We'll I had to kind of go back and forth until we get this thing adjusted. I do know that there's a remote control on the hopper boom fish cell point, whatever you want to call it. And that might be useful to put that in here so that we can uh, we can control it from in here instead of having to hop out every single time. Uh, but we are, I think we're lined up pretty good for this thing. So let me just get, let me slow down here a little bit and we'll slow down to like, oh, 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 come on. Yeah, those, those electric motors are just too touchy, too touchy. I'm not touching anything right now. They're just going. Hit stop, stop. Okay, let's get out. All right, let's see if we can do this. We'll just get it adjusted and then we'll uh, drive the boat into it. All right, there we go down. Kind of see. Okay, we'll go back over. Are we there? Let's go ahead and turn this on. And then let's go ahead and let's turn infinite resources off. Uh, we should have 20,000 and we're not close enough to it anymore. Okay, we did, we did the whole drifty thing when we're at the dock. All right, no, 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 come on. Come on, awesome. There definitely needs to be some rope anchors on uh, the cell point. That would be uh, very, very useful to being able to not have this happen. Because as soon as we get close, we could just stop it. Stop, boat, stop. Oh my goodness. Definitely gotta get rid of those electric motors. Definitely gotta get rid of those. Okay, it's doing its thing. It's pushing back. Let's go down with it. Go down, go down, go down, catch it. Go down, catch it. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is good. We're stopping the boat. Let's go up a bit. Break free of that edge. Okay, come on. Is it over the edge yet? Nope, okay, we're caught on the edge, and this is where the remote control is gonna come in super handy. Oh, we were really pushing the boat down. Okay, so go up, go up with it. Go right, go right, go down. Oh, we're so close, we are so close. Okay, let's push this way. We can push the boat back a little bit. Okay, that released pressure, good. Up, go to the right, come on, go down. Is it in there? It's in there, come on, boat. Push you down a little bit, maybe you'll slide more towards me. What is going on, is it not active? Why is it not active? Did I turn it off? Okay, so it's on, all right, it's on. Oh, it's sucking, it's sucking 
stocking up crabs. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so it's working. All right, well, let's see what we got from two crab pots. So yeah, I think if we add a remote control for the hopper boom here, we won't have to get out of the boat and then we can easily, easily hop off the helm, do the remote control, hop back on the helm and kind of get this adjusted to where we need to be. That'd be nice. Again, I'd like to see some sort of anchor on this so we can at least just anchor the boat to this while we're doing this just so it doesn't slide around a whole lot uh that would be a nice little addition there and yeah other than that uh crab pots uh crab pots are fun uh we need to do some work on the boat uh clearly i think we'll do a helipad on the back there um those doors are for getting down to an engine room that doesn't exist uh we'll have to do some rooms here we need a captain's quarters need crew quarters we'll need like a galley things like that we'll need uh equipment room uh what else uh i don't know another 4 a.m night and we'll probably have all that stuff figured out and then uh add some paint and things like that are we done selling here are we done selling we are done selling how much did we make uh we went from twenty thousand to seventy one thousand. so yeah fifty one thousand on that right there that was very profitable for two crab pots and we've got eight more sitting out there so yeah if you were to do this uh you're do this the right way you'd have a ton of money uh, I'm, I'm excited to get this thing done this thing works a lot better than the other one was going to and this is working like i wanted it to uh so let me just say that uh so yeah guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate you 100 if you are enjoying these crab pot videos make sure you throw a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already uh there's definitely more of this boat to come uh the other boat um i'm just gonna call it where it is you guys can have that it'll be on the workshop the same time that i get this one done so later this week uh both of those will be on the workshop and hopefully uh we can get some stuff done here but yeah guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate you 100 and we will see you guys in the next one look at that thing it's amazing it looks so good i can't wait to finish it all right guys see you later